teleporter devices. I did a video a while back, but I believe it's a little bit outdated, so it's time to update matters. How do you make a teleporter device in Fortnite Creative? This right here is an example of what we're going to be learning today. So this is a zero delay free world map. And when you fall off the map, you get teleported straight back onto the ground right here in front of the reset button. So if we go into the actual part creator where we set everything up, we can see that we have a device here called a teleporter. This is the part of the device, the teleporter, and the other part of the device will be down here and it is the mutator device. Now you're gonna find a mutator device if you just go into your gallery devices and head down, you can either head down, find it, it's green, or you can type in mutator device and it should come up right here. It's called mutator zone and it applies effects to players or creatures within a zone. So you're gonna put it down and you're gonna do these settings. So the zone should not be visible during the game. I have it on gameplay only for this one, but that is realistically your choice depending on which map you want. Base visible during game, no, that means you can't see the green thing right there. Zone width, I have all of these on 100 and zone height 75 because I want the, the just to end just below where the map is. So this is obviously dependent on what type of map you're making, whether it's a wall or whether it's a floor, whether it's any of those. But that's just basically how big the zone is. Keep selected team on any. And we're going to keep going down, make sure effects players is on, make sure pickup lifespan do not override. I have put allow building off. So in this, I put allow building off. I'm not sure if that makes a real difference, but I don't want people building inside the zone in case it glitches. So I've turned that part off. And that is all for now. You're going to save your settings then, you're going to come up and you're going to place a teleporter device. You can find a teleporter device if you just type in here it looks like a rift it's called teleporter and it, it's a customizable rift that allows players to move instantly between locations and this is exactly what it is so what did we change on here we literally changed absolutely nothing we went over go over to the modified options over here we can see teleporter rift visible we've made it no so we can't see it which is good play visual effects no play sound effects no that means there's literally no sound or no visual effects you just spawn it which i which is what i want because it's a clean zero delay so any sort of sound effects or any sort of effects on the screen will kind of reduce that delay so how do we connect these two up now we've made them how do we connect them up so go on your rift in the functions tab you can see it's the second last one you see i've got some mutator devices here that's because i'll explain it all of these, I've got a wall here, I've got a ceiling here, I've got a wall here, a wall here. All of these are mutator devices, so they're all connected up to this rift. So we know this is the mutator zone device 1, so if we look at the options for that one, you can see we got under teleport when receiving from mutator zone device on player entering zone. This means that when player enters this zone, they instantly teleport into the rift right here. You see it, if we set up the setting on the teleporter it also instantly sets up on the mutator zone device so if we go into events on player entering zone send event to teleporter to teleport you don't have to set up the second one but i would check it just in case super easy to do and you end up with something like what i've got here i hope this tutorial has been useful to you if it has make sure you click on the video on the screen right now and the other video on the screen right now because they're both great creative tutorials and also check out the destiny jesus solo superstars link in the description it's a great way to improve at the game i'll see you guys in a bit have a beautiful day